So some of the events that have taken place since our last uh, update or events we've attended. On uh, December 10th, the Six Nations Figure Skating Club hosted a special skate here at the Gaylord Palace Arena. On December 13th, I, along with staff, met with the Attorney General and the Minister of Community Safety and Corrections, and this was just about our discussions about the closing of the Branford Jail. On December 14th, Council met with uh, representatives from Sharps Bus Lines and Indigenous Affairs. We had a number of concerns about the busing of our kids, and so we brought those to their attention. And on December 18th, the German Council General visited Six Nations. Uh, he's most interested in our community and, and wants to come back in the summer. Also on December 19th, myself, along with uh, chiefs from uh, other large First Nations, met with the, the Regional Director General of Indian Affairs to discuss funding formulas for large First Nations. And on the 20th, I took part in a conference call with the Political Confederacy of the Chiefs of Ontario. And as I mentioned, uh, Sandy Montour from Ganoko Shanae and I met with, uh, and myself, met with the Assistant Deputy Minister of the Attorney General's Office, Kim Murray, and that was held on December 20th here at Six Nations. And on the 21st, I spoke to a small class of students at Six Nations Polytech. Our office was closed for uh, December 22nd, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and also on New Year's Day. It was open the rest of the time. Also, the NED NAG bid committee did meet over the holidays to finalize our bid submission and to prepare for the site visit that took place on January 5th. On January 3rd, I went to the courthouse in Branford to attend the swearing-in ceremony of Justice of the Peace Sarah Kiesmatt, who is from our community, and Justice of the Peace Robert Monroe. On the 4th of January, Councillors Hazel Johnson, Melba Thomas, and myself had a tour of Lansdowne House at the invitation of the executive director there. And of course we had ASCO site visit here on January 5th with respect to the NAG 2020 bid. And on January 28th I also attended the opening of the Indigenous People's Bail Court which took place in the Brantford Courthouse. And uh, on January 11th there, there was an opening reception for an exhibit that is taking place at the McMaster Museum of Art. It is called the Native Indian Indian Inuit Photographers Association exhibit, and it will run until March 24th. And on January 12th and 13th, the council and the senior administration team held a planning session to uh, discuss priorities and to plan for the coming year. <laughs>